of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Pete Gibson, his uncle, Clint Barlow, and Barney Dunlap of the International Secret Police have come to Hong Kong, China to capture the octopus, a criminal leader who, along with other evil deeds, has been responsible for the mysterious disappearance of Marsha Winfield's brother. However, the girl has a barely legible map her brother sent her, indicating the octopus headquarters. Clint has made a copy of this and has sought Dr. Kingsley's aid in deciphering it. Then they learn that Marsha Winfield has been kidnapped by the octopus gang, and Clint receives word from the octopus that if they continue pursuing him, they will never see Marsha again. We find the boys in a back room of Lee Ying's tea house. Marsha Winfield vanished without leaving any clues, Ying. We have absolutely nothing to go on, save that we know she's in the clutches of the octopus. If I go into the dock tonight to meet that smuggling boat of his, we thought maybe we could hear something, Lee Ying. Why, yes, Speed, we might. It is hard to tell, though. And that last note you had from the octopus said that her safety was in your hands, Clint. Yes, but it puts me in a terrible spot. For the octopus is devil enough to do away with Marsha. On the other hand, if I call the whole thing off, admitted defeat and return to America, we'd still have no guarantee of Marsha's safety. She probably knows too much about him by this time. He'd find a way to silence her no matter what we do. That's why we want to get to the dock as quick as possible, Ying. Got our disguises already? The coolie clothes? Why, yes, they are hanging in the corner there, Barney. And let me get this oily wig out of my belt. Uh, you might as well get into your costume, too, Barney, while I lay out the makeup on this table. And give me what you're carrying there. And you, too, Speed. Sure. Here's the grease paint, Clint. And here's the eye pencil and tape. Yeah, might as well get rid of this bottle of liquid body makeup, too. Oh, you got an old towel or something, Ying? Why, yes, uh, right here, Clint. Oh, good, thank you. Now, sit down, Speed. I'll start on you first. Okay, Clint. This is a privilege for me to watch the master hand at work, you know. You mean watching Clint make me up? You bet, Ying. I'm studying hard so I can get good at it, too. Hey, help! I'm stuck! Well, allow me to help you, Barney. You need not have pulled the blouse on over your head. See, it has frogs down the throat. To frogs! It with. Let me out of here! Oh, be your age, Barney. They use frogs in place of buttons in China. You know that as well as I do. I didn't know it until now. I thought Ying meant live frogs. Oh, well, now hold still a minute now, Speed. I'm going to tape your eyes up at the corners. Okay. Suffering wang doodles. What a different slanting eyes make on the kid. Speed, you look like you and all your ancestors was born in China. Do I, Barney? Yeah. This tape don't feel so good. Oh, have I taped them up too much, Speed? No. It'll be all right after I get used to it. Sure. Once you're down at the dock, you'll forget all about your makeup. You'll be so excited. Gee, I'd do anything to find Miss Marshall. Now, listen, don't talk for a while, Speed, while I apply this grease paint. <laughs> and then I'll give you a few lines, Ying. And a mandarin mustache. That'll protect you. Where are the other ten guys that are going to the Siang dock with us, Yang? Waiting in the tea storeroom. They have their instructions. They are to make no move till we do. Ah, that's good. I'll have all of us made up and in costume in no time. And then at nine, we'll go to the Siang dock. Gosh, I wonder if the octopus will be there. master has sent for you to give you last-minute instructions before going to the Siang Dock. I trust that I do not need to remind you to listen attentively. Oh, yeah. Quiet while we await his orders. Is everyone here, Kwan Wu? Yes, master. Tonight, the transfer of the slaves from the flower boat to the other boat will be much the same as in the past. However, tonight I want each and every one of you to take extra precautions. You already know that the ace operator of the International Secret Police is in Hong Kong on our trail. Should he succeed in tracking us down, 
I will not be the one to suffer. I have escaped him before and will again. But you men, you will remain to take the punishment accorded you by the law. I believe they understand that, Master. Good. We have taken every possible precaution for our smuggling operations. The young duck is away from the main steamer docks. It is badly lighted. I don't think we will have any trouble. But in case we are interrupted, I do not want you to disappear as you have done in the past. Tonight, I have a very special cargo to go aboard the flower boat after the slaves have been transferred. This cargo, and I don't mean our usual load of opium, is a slave. A very important slave, whom I am shipping up the Xiang to Hong Chao. No matter what else happens, the flower boat with this slave aboard must get away on her return voyage. Quan Wu will be there to see that you do not fail. Any questions? Very well. Leave the council room then, and wait outside for Quan Wu. I would speak with him alone. Master? Yes? Am I really to go to the young duck with the others tonight? The risk is great. Supposing someone should see me, recognize me as Quan Wu, the man who has received everywhere diplomatic circles, army and navy circles. Can we risk anyone recognizing me to be in reality a member of your band? Ordinarily, no. But tonight, yes. Marsha Winfield is a danger, Quan Wu. Nothing must prevent her journey up to Tiang to Hang Chao tonight. And above all, no one must see her go aboard. Have you arranged for the box that she is to be carried in? Yes, Master. And she is drugged, utterly helpless. But... Why do you hesitate? I have lost the jade setting from my ring. It is a bad omen. I fear we shall have trouble tonight. Superstition. You pin your faith in a bit of green stone? You're a fool, Quan Wu. Put your faith in yourself, as I do. You may fail everyone else, but not yourself. I am not as wise as you, Master. I fear these secret police. Fear them? Speed, Gibson, Clint Barlow, and Barney Dunlap? <laughs> there is only one person in the whole world you need fear, Quan Wu. Me, the octopus. So, see that you do not fail to do my bidding tonight. <laughs> This is the Seong Dog. This fog makes everything creepy. Yes, Speed, creepy. But as you see, it is not half as crowded as the other docks. It's dark and bad looking to me. Sure looks like a smuggler's dock, all right. Yeah, with these guys sitting around here on either side of us. Are they asleep or are they looking us over? Can't tell in this light. These are fishermen, Barney. They are probably asleep. The flower boat will dock up ahead there, near the end of the pier. Yeah, I don't see any signs of life yet. No, but there will be more confusion when the flower boat docks. Passengers for the return trip who wish to enjoy the sing-song girls and the dancing and music. Sort of a floating nightclub, huh? Something like that. Be careful, careful. Here comes some Chinese. They didn't notice us at all. It shows us that uh, our disguises are perfect. Uh, they would notice a member of the fight race immediately. Your makeup fools even me, Clint, and I saw you put it on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ying. Hey, look, the wood in that big box out this way. wonder what's in it. Very probably return cargo for the flower boat. If they're bringing that out, then the boat will dock soon. Yes, I think I see it over there. See those different colored lights on that moving boat? Oh, yeah. Be careful. Careful until the box passes. Hey, look, here comes a rickshaw. Say, what is this? All of a sudden, the traffic on Xiang Dock is thicker than New York City. Watch it now. Hey. Hmm? What's wrong, Speed? The man in that rickshaw. It was Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu? Quan Wu? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I'll be darned. I wonder what he's doing down here. Perhaps he is going aboard the flower boat for an evening of relaxation. And maybe. Then again, maybe not. What do you know about him, Ying? Quan Wu has a very good reputation in Hong Kong, Clint. Everyone likes and trusts him. He is a very close friend of Dr. Kingsley. Mm, you've never heard anything against him? Not a whisper. Why? Mm, it's a hunch of mine. 
I haven't trusted him from the first moment I saw him with the doctor at the China Clipper landing. Uh Uh-oh, look, here comes that flower boat. Yes, it will not take long for it to dock now. You know, Clint, I think that big box belongs to Quan Wu. He was watching it real careful. And remember, his rickshaw was right behind it. Look up ahead now. That rickshaw's parked right beside the box. It might be a coincidence. Mustn't let our imaginations run away with the speed. We're apt to overlook concrete evidence that way. Yeah, but I'm still going to keep my eye on that box. I'm going to try and get near to it and maybe see what's in it. No, no. Well, you stay away from that box, Speed. I want you to leave this to Barney, Ying, and the rest of us tonight. Are your uh, ten men planted around this dock, Ying? Why, yes, we are passing one right now. Him? I thought he was another sleeping beauty fisherman. Now, don't forget, Barney. As soon as the fighting starts, our men try to surround the crew of the flower boat. Now, don't mistake them for the octopus gang and start knocking them down. I resent that. Ain't I always done the right thing in the past? Yeah, not always. I say that flower boat's closer than I thought. It fools you in the fog. Oh, come on. You better get up there. Now stay close to me, Speed. Okay, Clint. Observe these men around the gangplank. They are the octopus men. I am sure of it. What are they going to do with the slaves now that they got them here? They'll probably transfer them to another boat. Perhaps the one on the other side of the dock. They'll have a sweet time doing that without anybody seeing them. Oh, Speed. What? Why, he's gone. Where is he? He has gone over to that large box. In spite of me telling him to stay away? And look, Quan Wu's eyeing him. Be quick. Let's work our way over there before the kid does something foolish. Be careful. We'll be right in the octopus hotbed. Look, Speed is trying to look into the box between the cracks. Quan Wu's getting out of the rickshaw. Hurry. Oh, he's pushing him into the sea. Right. Right under the power of the flower boat. 